We went from zero sales to more than a billion dollars in sales. We went from nowhere to the top brand in America. Any case study would tell you that it was impossible. Any case study. And in 2005, I saw an ad that said, fully equipped yogurt plant for sale. It was 85 years old and it was closing because somebody in a glass tower far away, sight unseen, decided to close it. There were 55 employees. They wondered, are we not good enough? The company wasn't just giving up on yogurt or on plant. It was giving up on them. So I called my attorney, Mario, and I said, I want to buy this plant. He said, Hamdi, the largest food company in the world closing this plant, they're getting out of your business. Who the hell are you to think that you can make it work? I said, you're right. But I called him again the next day. I said, no, really, I want to buy this plant. So this time, Mario said, you have no money. You have no money and you haven't paid me in the last six months. <laughs> Which was true. <laughs> to make the story short, by August 15, 2005, I had a key for this old factory. The first thing I did was to hire four of the five employees, the 55 employees, to come and help me to start the uh, plant back up. And we sat down for our first board meeting. <laughs> So Mike said, Hamdi, so what are we going to do next? And they look at me as if I had the magic answer. I said, we're going to go Ace Hardware store. We're going to buy some paint. And we're going to paint the walls. Mike said, Hamdi, that's fine, we'll do that. But tell me you have more ideas than that one. I said, I do. We're going to paint the walls white. Honestly, I have no other ideas than that one. I swear to God, nothing. But I gotta tell you about this thing. As the poet Rumi, who lived in Turkey, said, when you start walking the way, the way appears. When you start walking the way, the way appears. That summer, we painted those walls. Along the way, we came up with more ideas. We launched Giovanni in late 2007. Time passed and eventually we hired almost all of that 55 workers back. Then we hired 100 more, then 100 more after. And we started to grow fast. I knew the promise of what we started, but I questioned myself many times. I got to the point where I wasn't sure if I was able to do it. I had never met anyone who had done this before. So maybe I thought uh, I should hire a CEO with more experience. So I found this guy who was a big shot, another company. Uh, he had a lot of experience, MBA, big salary, stories written about him. One day I met him in a diner. He was so anxious to impress me, he completely dismissed the waitress. He was too, you know, he was really rude to her, disrespected her. For me, this wasn't a sign of power, it was a sign of weakness. He showed lack of character. Thanks to him, I realized two things. One, I would never hire this guy. I would never hire him into my company. Second, he enforced everything I believed about business my whole life. He forgot what was important. I realized that moment I had more in me than I thought. I decided to put my faith in the people of that plant and that community to believe in them as much as they were hoping that they could believe in me. I spent every day on that floor for five years, on that factory floor. 
working shoulder to shoulder with the team. Together, we get elevated. We believed in each other, we walked away, and the way started to appear. In five years, we went from five people to more than 2,000 people. We went from zero sales to more than a billion dollars in sales. We went from nowhere to the top brand in America. Any case study would tell you that it was impossible. Any case study. With the resources we had, the old factory, the community left behind, any case study would say it's just impossible. Remember, I had no money. But if you believe in people you work with, and listen to them, and learn from them, and give them a reason to believe in you, everything is possible. Acknowledging the sacrifice of others that enable you to be in this position does not diminish sacrifices that you made on your own. Be kind of a person, be kind of a leader that the other people want to sacrifice for. Be good to waiters, huh? be good to waiters. The best part of Chobani for me is the same exact people who have been given up on were the ones who built it back 100 times better than me. Same people. The Chobani journey has taught me something special. What matters most in business and in life is the difference you make for other people and for your community. So where do we begin class of 2018? As soon as you can, start painting a wall. I'll leave the color up to you. Thank you so much.